28 sales, $1,354 before shipping. Gosh, maybe I should take a day off more often. So I took a day off yesterday on Tuesday. I came back in the office today on Wednesday. I've got uh, 28 orders to ship for almost, uh, well, $1,354. $1,354. That makes taking a day off worth it. We'll talk about that on The Crazy Picker Life with Wheeler, Dealer, and Banana Peeler. Good morning, fellow pickers and would-be adventurers. Dealer here with the Crazy Picker Life, the picking show that shows the life of Dealer, Wheeler, and Banana Peeler and crew. Well, I took a day off yesterday. I've been doing that now for probably four weeks. I don't work Sundays, and I added one additional day per week where I'm not in the office, not working, not doing my normal working thing. I think it's paying dividends. I'm feeling pretty good, feeling more energized, feeling more focused. And today we got a little bonus on that. Usually we have, uh, I don't know, 10 or so orders waiting. Today I had 28 orders, good solid orders right there in the uh, target dollar amount per order. Whoop, there's another one. Let's see what that is. $9.78, oh my goodness, a camera filter. <laughs> uh, we do have some small ones too. 28 sales, $1,354. I gotta get to work. Let's show them all. On with the show. Okay, this one is a Lytar screw-in metal lens cap for a camera lens. Sold for $14.23 free shipping. Pack it and ship it. This is a Canon Pelix vintage film camera body. Paid three bucks for that. Sold for $67.63 shipped. Here's a little Goober lens. A Bell and Howell. Fits on some sort of a camera. Don't ask me, ask Wheeler. $22.24. $22.24 cents shipped. Get it out of here. Here's a Contax remote control shutter release. Got a button on there somewhere. $14.23 shipped. Here's a nice Nikon lens with a couple of lens caps. Uh, paid $30. We doubled our money plus. Sold it for $70.85 shipping today. Well, I got a little bit ahead of myself and started packing this one. This is an older Palm Quarter Quasar. They don't go for a whole lot. Um, $53.14 free shipping. Ship's pretty heavy. We didn't pay a lot for it. Get it out. Here is an Edna Light filter, camera filter. Sold for $11.56. Let's ship that out. Here's another shutter release with a bulbous bulb on there and a long cord sold for $16.90 shipped. Okay, so here's a nice sale of a couple of Pentex waterproof cameras. We had to go out and buy some uh, power adapters and test these. They were demo used cameras in near mint condition. Orange one, red one, these sold to the same person, uh, $150.46 on that one. And if I flip the page, uh, another $150.46 sending to the same person. So that's a nice sale. We paid $15 each. Now I should note that although those waterproof cameras were $15 each, we did have to go out and get these chargers, which were another $10 each. So total cost per camera give or take $25 each. Sold for $150. Free shipping. Here's a Vivitar lens hood. We've got a couple of these. Have had them for a while. This one sold for $13.99. Free shipping. Ship it out. Here's a, another shutter release cable. We got a whole bunch of these in and listed those recently. This one's $10.67. Free ship. Let's ship it. 
Here's a Rico metal lens hood, vintage lens hood. This one sold for $19.56 going to Japan, $13.75 shipping. Ship it. Okay, here's an interesting uh, vintage lens. It's a shot Munchen. <laughs> It's a big old lens, high quality in its day, still will be repurposed and used today. So for one twelve nineteen, this came out of a large lens lot that we uh, acquired this summer. So I'm glad to see that those are starting to go out. More of those will go out once spring hits, when people start really looking for, for lenses for spring and summer. Get it out! All right, so this business is not static. You don't just uh, walk into uh, 28 orders and then say, okay, that's it. Just got to pack 28 and, uh, you know, my day is going to be done. So 28 is a little bit like the, uh, the tidal wave of orders. And then throughout today, more orders are going to come in and other things to do are going to happen. Uh, let's see, one, two, three, I think three, maybe four orders already have come come in since this morning um, I need to get out uh, you probably didn't notice I disappeared for lunch and came back but I need to get out and um, bring these orders in now it's time to do that I gotta finish school with my kids cover all that have supper and I'll be back to pack some more on camera here so it's gonna be orders in all day uh, let's see what did I get done here I didn't get down as many as I wanted. I wasn't really here all that long. Three big ones and a good size tote. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, whatever. And I didn't get any UPS done. I also am going to bring these um, test kit shippers for test strips. Those, uh, three of those have checks in it for people that sent me test strips. And so I didn't count those in the total. But uh, sold one out of the three that came in already, and those are all, mostly all listed, so they'll sell eventually. So I'm going to bring those orders in. When you see it again, that stack there will start at zero. Now all this stuff over here is not orders. I had to get crazy and pop that open. I needed some uh, foam pads to pack with. This is boxes for banana peeler to clean up, and these are some box sizes that I needed to come in. That is some other stuff for banana peeler. So this room is sort of like our throw-all, but these are the orders. Not enough packed, but what can I do? I did not come in. Like Mondays, I come in right after midnight. I did not do that after my day off. Um, I'm still fresh. I'm good. More orders coming later. Now I got all the camera ones except one that came in packed. So the rest of the stuff I'm going to show will be non-camera. It'll be fun to see all that kind of good stuff. Uh, probably will have some more camera orders by the time I pack those but I'll, I'll do those last. So this show is orders, orders, orders and we are grateful and excited and this is what December crunch time can be like. Back in the office after dinner, supper, whatever you call it, in your home. And I've got more to pack, so we're going to keep packing here. Pack, pack, pack. It's a night to pack. It's a day to pack. Woof. So I took those in earlier. I'm starting fresh. All that stuff over there is what it is. This tote is virtually empty except for that envelope going out. That's right. I do use snail mail from time to time. I'm trying to get my bills converted over to electronic billing. I finally am going to submit to it. I'm going to have my wife, Lon, work that over. No more writing checks, right? Bring it on. Let's get an item to list. No, not to list. Let's get an item to pack. Okay, here's a small lot of cars. I think there's 10 of them in there. These are from the 60s or 70s, little uh, die cast cars, including a Corvette. And that crazy one with the hat. None of these really are in great condition, or would they sell that great alone? Banana Peeler had a box full of 100 different cars and put them in lots. This is one of the lots. Sold for $13.91 plus $4.35 shipping. Pack it. 
Next item is a Michelob Ultra Amber Beer Tapper. Bought this with a whole bunch of tappers. This one sold for $13, one cent, plus $6.95 shipping. Ship it out. Here's a nice Case IH Agriculture hat. It's got a tag back there. It's got uh, the paper underneath. It is a made in China hat, so it's a newer hat. Banana Peeler picks up quite a few hats and we make out big on some of them and we do not sell some of the other ones but overall we pay from a quarter to two bucks for a hat this one sold for $14.04 four plus four cents plus three fifty nine shipping here's a mechanic vintage belt buckle going to Canada nine dollars eleven cents plus fifteen fifty shipping ship it all right, so here we have some sandals, kid sandals, Chaco brand, four pairs. I had these lying around somewhere. I just found these and some shoes a few weeks ago. I had uh, a couple hundred pairs of the adults and never got around to listing these. Sandals off season, put them in a lot, sell them up, 2609 plus shipping. Let's get them out. Going south. Okay, here is a Halliburton Zero Secret Agent aluminum suitcase with the warning eyeball for free. Not in perfect shape, not in perfect condition. High end suitcase, Halliburton. Sold for $82.64 plus $27.34 shipping. UPS will be the way we go. Let's get it out the door. Here's another International Harvester hat. This one sold for $10.42, $3.97 shipping. Somebody that used to live in the area wanted the momentum mento from the area. Somebody that lives south of here in Scott City, I guess. So they sent me a special message and I said, cool, here comes your hat. Here's a lot of uh, 10 camera bags, new old stock for older Digital cameras, Lowy Pro, different sizes, different bags. Uh, I didn't pay hardly anything for these. In fact, these got tossed in somewhere. Who knows? Sold for $16.82 plus $12.80 shipping. Send them. Test strips, six of them. Bought them from somebody who had extra. Sold them for $54.99, free shipping. Not a big money maker, but I made 20 bucks or something. Okay, these One Touch Ultra Blue 100 retail boxes are a little bit better. Uh, these three sold for $189.99. Again, these are extras from people who sent them to me. I buy them, resell them to get them to somebody that uh, can use them. There's a nice uh, vintage blue Seiko watch. Sold for $34.19. Free shipping. Okay, this morning this guy contacted me about my uh, magic lantern here in the case and he wanted just the wooden slide and the wooden slide for some reason people are after those. They must get lost. Don't know exactly why. I told him $25 shipped and he made the decision to buy the whole thing. He liked the case. Of course the lens the brass lens that was on there is gone. We sell that separately on our uh, camera channel. $39.14 plus $25.46 shipping. So this will take a little padding inside to get that thing from moving around in there. And then I just have to box it up and get it out of here. Okay, this stack here is known as the Significant Tornado Collection. It has a thick book an update, another book about the videos, some videos, and some other videos. So this sold for $110 plus shipping. I picked this up for next to nothing. It's actually a pretty cool book. Uh, book alone in really good shape goes for pretty good money. This book has been worn and beat up a little bit. But somebody is going to use this with their students and is very excited to get it. Well, I ran out of invoices and products to pack. Here's where I'm at. Tote and a half or so. A couple UPSs. And I got to go get some more products because I've got more invoices. I just need to print them. 
these would be the ones that would uh, would have come in from uh, this late morning but I think it's gonna be time for a pizza break I'll go visit with Wheeler I got to be careful he's recording a watch video so does this one look better than that square one some people said, mmm, I like the pizza. Some people say, ooh, I hate the pizza. By the way, look at that. This video has funded the relighting of the Schlitz. You don't have gutso. Gutso. Oh my goodness. If you don't have Schlitz, you don't have gusto sign. I got the new starter with all the money that I earned from YouTube, and I got this thing relit. Can you believe it? <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness that's so funny I guess we don't do this for money we do it because it's right I gotta eat some pizza I think I'm low on calories my brain is starting to shrink maybe it's this Guinness hat it's a little too tight it's a different style isn't it? I might trade this one to one of my boys my boys I got them these nice hats that come down and keep their ears and their whole head warm I get this one and it turns out to be the style where, you know, it's it's all cool looking, but don't keep me very warm. Oh! Pizza time. Yeah, I gotta cut it. Yep. I see that you're doing watch videos. Yeah. You really sound keyed Just up. watch Wednesday on Wednesday. It is Wednesday. <laughs> is it Wednesday? It's Wednesday. I don't think it is. It isn't? I guess it is. That's right. Your mom yeah. said tomorrow's Thursday. I don't know what day it is. I've been packing too much. It's okay. Tomorrow. Okay, I ate my pizza. Now I'm heading into the pizza coma. <laughs> I got to turn the heat down in uh, Wheeler's office here. Once I have the pizza, I start heating up. Got some yeah. fuel in. Fuel is burning. Are you eating pizza? Yeah. What do you got going? I'm getting some listing here pretty soon. Yeah, it's only like midnight. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna watch on. Yeah. <laughs> Just filming my watch things. I don't really know what watch on. So what's going on in your world? I hear you're doing more videos. Yeah, well I need to get this one edited if I can, if I can actually make my computer start up. So that's the whole wild card now. It's all ready to go. So I hear you pulled like almost an all-nighter last night. Yeah, pretty much. I thought about just keeping going today, but I actually took a little nap, so that's good. Yeah, what happened? Yesterday was supposed to be a day off. You get some school done, man. Oh. So yeah. I was just done with school and just like, okay, I'm just going to get done for the week. Yeah. Well, that'll come back to get you if you do that too much. Oh, yeah. Young guys need sleep, too. Yeah, I'm another 24 list with that in a while. Did you go running today? Yeah. How many days in a row is that? It's be 14 today. You, you got a mark on the calendar when you started? Yeah, well, I have it on a spreadsheet. Let's see, 14. Is it because it's the 14th? Hmm. I don't know. I didn't know I was starting the first. But hmm. Good. That would make sense. Yeah. All right, well, I just had that pizza, and now I'm slipping into a pizza coma, and I've got to get re-motivated to pack the rest of my orders. Sounds great. I don't know how many we got today, but take a day off. I think we're, I think we're going to be at 40 for the day. Yeah. That's a lot. Maybe we'll get some more yet. Yeah, some more than my 14th, so like my 16th day. 16th day? Yep. Now you got a log going. Yep, got it going. You put times in there, too? Yeah. Wow. Two miles, two miles, two miles, two miles, and then once a week you're doing four miles right now? Yep. Well, not once a week, every five days. Every five days, so it rotates. Kind of random. You don't care what the weather is. You go out in the morning and yeah. you just ignore it. Yep. Tough guy. Uh -huh. All right, well, I look forward to seeing how fast you can run if I can ever catch you or see <laughs> you. Yeah. I guess I'll have to drive behind you on my bike or my, my Jeep. Yeah. All right, anything else for today, man? Nope. Midweek blues? I realize my number's off because my watch is set wrong. It's one day off for some reason. I don't know. Well, that number doesn't matter. As long as the stickers, well, match, stickers match the listing. Sticker matches the listing, that's important. Yep, that's sure why. It's when the numbers, it was when the sticker doesn't match the listing, I got problems. Yeah. So, you got anything else to list over there? You told me you didn't have anything left. I see a lot of stuff yet. I get through those lenses there, that's it. That's it? Uh-huh. There's got to be more here. Nope. Well, I've watches, but... Yeah, I see. 
I see. <laughs> All right. Yep. I'll leave you alone. Yep. Let's get back over here. I'm gonna put the camera over here by my packing booth, and then I'm gonna pack some more. Are you sick of seeing what I'm selling? <laughs> I'm not, but the packing's getting a little monotonous. Okay, back at it. Here is a Kodak Filter Series 4. We had a lot of filters. We bought a bunch of these at one time and are still handing them out anywhere from uh, $8 to $25. This one is $9.78. Ships free. Well, there's an old Minolta lens cap, body cap, I don't know, $4.44. Some of these things, when we listed them a year or two ago, they were up there a bit, and we used to have a price reduction strategy. And so they got down kind of low, and then we stopped reducing the prices on anything under $20. And I think that's helped some of these things that only sell once in a blue moon. We don't sell a lot of things under $10, but we still have some things left from when, when we used to reduce things down to zero practically. And then we'd cut some things off the bottom and basically lot them up or throw them out. We since have changed that strategy, so pretty much nothing goes below $10. But like I said, there's still some things there. I should just cut all those things out and have banana peeler go find them and throw them away. But I don't know. At this point, after shipping, we're probably getting a buck out of this cap. And that probably pays for all the, the relisting since it's been been listed so it's a break even i guess we didn't pay anything for this cap so here's an example this is a shutter release that normally would go for 9.99 when it's on sale it goes for 8.99 so this one is 8.99 free shipping it's been around a little while all right so here's a cooler this is funny because i was just talking about this particular cooler in one of my examples yesterday when i talked about three techniques that i use in bundling items and all that. So this Coleman cooler is old, cool, and heavy, but it is beat. The top still closes, handles are still there, drain plug's not there. Look at that, somebody, somebody uh, kicked that thing hard. This is steel, this is metal. So it's got some life in it, it's an ugly cooler. It was marked 15 bucks, and I saw it. And I'm like, oh, yeah, bring that up there and see what we can do. <laughs> so that got bundled into the deal. I mean, I, you could look at it any way you want. I got that thing free, and this is going to go down to Florida. Avenue of the Stars. It's going to go down there for $57.85 plus $29.45 shipping. So somebody had to have that to the tune of $87.30. Old Coleman coolers, old coolers in general, look them up before you buy them if you're not comfortable, but they go. Now shipping is not the easiest always. You do need to put a box around it and you do have to be a little bit careful if it's aluminum, but you got to be careful not to wreck the drain plug if there's one there, you know, not get it too tight in there. So you measure it up, you put a box around it, there you go shipped. I know why that address sounded familiar. That's actually, um, I'm not going to name any companies, but that's an animation studio down there in Florida. And it's not the first time we've sent objects to them. They, they like certain objects to uh, focus on when they're drawing their animations or however they do it. When they combine animations with people, I don't know what they do with some of that stuff, but this is not the first item. I think we've sold three or four items over the years to this particular studio and we do provide props sometimes which is really kind of cool I guess in a sense so this one is also quite interesting this is a five dollar sign front it's the front that goes on the metal can for Olympia beer Olympia stuff is is usually pretty hot and I bought this for five bucks not knowing exactly what it was it turned out it's a front to a sign. I've actually had the back can in the front uh, of another Olympia sign. It sold quite well. So apparently they had multiple fronts 
for the same back somewhere over the years. This Olympia sign is going to Olympia, Washington, $47.10 plus $30 shipping. So I'm going to have to pack this with care because this is the old hard plastic and one bang on a corner and the whole thing will be cracked. So I got five bucks in it and I got good uh, money for shipping. I'm going to ship that thing correctly. And just like that, we're to the end here. So this is a two hat deal. There's this one. Two hats for eleven eighteen plus four thirty five shipping. There's this Nike one and that one is a Nike one. So two for one. All right. So just like that, the order's dried up. I don't remember the last time one came in, but it's been a number of hours. So that's kind of strange. Work on the lighting here. Whew. Come on, come on, lighting. Hey. <laughs> okay, well, that was a lot of packing. It's still early enough. I'm going to get some other things done. It is 11 p.m. Pretty long day. I'm fried from packing. Packing this much always kind of makes me a little batty. Uh, I've got some other things I'm going to get done. Edit this video. Hang out. Da -da -dee -dee -doo -doo -doo. Tomorrow will be another vlog. I don't know what we're going to do. It's Thursday. Definitely got to list some things. No word yet on the building situation. I ran into my landlord today. I did not ask her directly because our last conversation was she would tell me one way or the other. And so I just laid off. I was in a hurry and I was like, cold weather, huh? <laughs> and that was it. I would like to know if we're staying or going. That's a terrible feeling for me. Not knowing, not being in control of something as big as that. Thanks for watching. I appreciate your comments and your thumbs up and everything else. I appreciate uh, all the support. I read every comment. I'm going to get going. Pick well, list often, dealer is out of here. Hey, Wheeler. Dealer Production. <laughs>